Wiggy time on the fly. What's up, everybody? Sean Wiggins here alongside myself, Sean Wiggins. No ref hands in here today. This is going back to uh, August 18th, 2001. That's off the top of my head. At the old ECW Arena, which is now the Viking Hall. I mean, which is now the 2300 Arena. Uh, that, for you uh, new wrestling fans... ROH, what's left of them anyway, uh, CZW, uh, who the hell else runs there? GCW runs there, I think. Uh, House of Hardcore did when they were still around. Um, and But this is back in the day of the ECW arena. This was ECW, had only been gone for, what, six months at this time. There's Damn Off screaming at the ring announcer. Uh, Scott Matthews, who inappropriately introduced him as the former tag team champions. Um, <clears throat> this was the summer of 01, and this is when, you know, um, the independent scene was just the independent, it was the WWF and the independent scene, because it was still the WWF at this time. So this is, sorry for all the shaking, uh, this is August 2001, so Stone Cold Steve Austin is the WWF champion, the whole invasion angle is going on, and WWE is, WWF at that time is, is dying, because they started losing interest. They had already changed. They would already switched Stone Cold as to a heel, which people didn't want to see. Anyway, I'm talking about the WWF. This is, let me get to what's going on here. This is The Hit Squad, Mafia, and Monster Mac against the Moondogs 2000, or the new Moondogs. In the ring, that's Moondog Molson. On the outside, that's Moondog Wenzel. There's Monster Mac and those clotheslines. I hate it. He called it the stiff clothesline, stiff lariat, whatever he did. But they really did look good. There's Wenzel, and now oh, the third one takes him down. Good psychology there. It takes him a long time to chop the guy down. I think this is a bring the weapons match. It's kind of a no disqualification match. And uh, I knew Wenzel at this time. It's Brian Wenzel's his real name. I think he got a job at the Jets, if I'm not mistaken. Graduate of Penn State University. Um, Wenzel was a blue chipper. Everybody, you know, not everybody, but I thought he had a chance to, you know, make it. Because he looked the part. He was a you know, high school football state champion, lifted weights. He was very into his uh, uh, dieting. And, you know, he, he didn't look, I don't want to say this, not that he looked small. He didn't, like, look cut, but he's big. You know I mean? He, he looked like a wrestler. <clears throat> and uh, he was pretty good, too. Hopefully he does good in this match. Don't look like an idiot for saying that, but... I thought he would make it a lot farther than he did. He got mixed in with that Tommy Fierro crowd, that ISPW bunch, the New Jersey Click. You know, I don't have to explain who the New Jersey Click is. All you guys know who they are. You know, um, Wenzel now taking Moff and look, Moff was. Uh, I mean, Moff did have his time. Ooh, nice chair in the corner. Moff had much better matches after this, and he had great matches as he went on. But I thought it was his peak here. Uh, I don't know. I I, I liked Mafia as. Much as damn Moff was, but I don't know. Amadram doing their best. You know, they got cameras on the outside. Ah, I wouldn't have cut to that there. There's a count in the ring, and long haired goof, Ref Hansen, is counting one, two. He only got a two count. Johnny D is on the outside. The Moondogs are, they have no manager in this one. And they tried to resurrect that old gimmick, the Moondogs, and yeah, it didn't really work. Didn't really catch on in the Indies, but it was something different, you know? Uh, so Monster Mac now uh, is waiting for Mafia to come in. What's going to happen? Oh, nice uh, double flapjack on Wenzel. And that ring was really bouncy. I don't know if you could tell on the camera, but that ring was insanely bouncy. I'm running around like an idiot. I mean, Ref Hansen's running around like an idiot in that ring instead of just staying in one corner. I always wanted to move around more. Like, if I move around more, it'll look better. Well, it didn't look better. But I was an idiot, and there was no one around to teach me. I was only a year and uh, two years in at this point. I'm still running around. What the fuck am I doing? <clears throat> Moff now found a belt. Uh, took it off some guy. He's choking Molson out with it. Molson, for those of you that don't know who Molson is, um, he was famous... Oh, not famous. He was wrestling for WXW, the Samoans, uh, off of the Wild Samoan Training Center. WXW, that's where he kind of made his mark and where he spent pretty much all of his time for WXW. Uh no good, good's about it. But he was a big guy, looked the part. <clears throat> and you know, it, size means a lot. Because he could do some things for a big guy. You know, I mean, 
You could. And now there's a barbed wire uh, 2x4. Shades of Cactus Jack. Yeah, this has got to be a no DQ match. I remember August 18th, 2001. That date sticks out for whatever reason. Whoa. Put on the brakes. And look, I mean, Wenzel could do those moves to Monster Mac and Mafia, and it looked good. Cause my, just Wenzel, I mean, the, the moon dog attire didn't really suit him. He did that gimmick uh, pretty good, though. It used was him and uh, Pub Bully. Remember Pub Bully? No one remembers Pub Bully. I miss Pub Bully. Um, I haven't seen him in a while. Um, it was him and Wenzel, and for whatever reason, Pub Bully left wrestling. He came back later. But, oh, there it is. Is he going to gig? Yes, he is. <laughs> I hate that I was in wrestling so long that I know when they're doing it. But Pub Bully and Wenzel, I mean, they were, oh, he does it again. Moff got up and fed him again. And the people here in Philly, I mean, see, CCW did much better at the ECW Arena than Jersey All Pro did. Because they were on TV for a while promoting it, and they waited, and they promoted, and promoted, and promoted, and promoted. JP kind of just jumped in the arena, and they kept running the arena. They said they weren't going to use any more ECW names, and that's not going to help you. Because at this point, remember, it's August 2001. ECW's only been dead for seven, eight months. The more ECW names you're going to bring in, the more people are going to come. Um, and uh, there was a... Uh, who ran here? Was, I think it was the week after this. Uh, main event championship wrestling. They called it Me C Dub. Me C Dub. I think the Sandman was promoting it or helping promote it. And they drew a house and a half. And that's the infamous story, I'll tell it here, of Billy Highlight Reel. Yes, the infamous. Nice splash by Molson. Billy, the Highlight Reel versus Crowbar versus uh, Roadkill. And one of the spots Billy Reel wanted to do, he wanted to fireman's carry the both of them. At the same time. So that was funny. Nice clothesline by Wenzel. Billy Rose a goof. So I will crap on him at all times. And you, the more, like the farther you get away from wrestling, and I couldn't be more farther away from it now, the more you see guys for what they really are. <clears throat> and it doesn't matter what I say anymore because I don't care if I ever see any of these people again. I mean, there's some guys I do care to see. Like Molson. I hope Molson's doing well. I haven't seen Molson in... Legitimately 14 years. The last time I saw him was 2007. And Wenzel uh, got mad at me. Got I got big heat with Brian Wenzel when I crapped all over Joe Paterno on my Facebook page. And me and Wenzel never talked again. He un I think his... his, his <laughs> nice ladder shot. He, he uh, On my post, he's like, dude, unfriend me. So I just followed protocol and unfriended him. I think I, we like went a little bit back and forth because he was defending Paterno. Because obviously he's a Penn State guy. He's going to defend him. When your best friend is touching little boys, don't tell me you don't know about it. But we let sleeping dogs lie. And uh, Paterno is deceased. So we'll let it go. They now have a ladder. What? And they just blasted Molson with it once. They're going to give it to him twice. They're going to give it to him twice. But it only brings Molson down to a knee. See, Molson was... Uh, I mean, I guess he was missing a little something. He came in too late. I mean, he would have been something more later, but he needed a territory. No, nah, he's so... I didn't I forgot about that spot. Wenzel risks his own body to take down both of the members of the Hit Squad with that ladder. Um, and Hit Squad's been on my channel a few times now. Um, at this time, this is August 2001... Uh, wow, 9-11 wasn't even a thing yet. Is that something or what? Pre-9-11 days. Um, me and the Hit Squad pretty much traveled to every show together. You know why? Because I drove. And they jumped in my car. But to damn off's credit, he would always fill my gas tank. I don't think I ever paid for food. You know, he, was, he did take care of you. But because he didn't have a car of his own at the time. Uh, oh, good. See, that's... I wouldn't take that. You better get your hand down quick, because that's going to hurt. Uh, Molson now in the ring with Moff. What's going to happen? Oh, into the ladder. Boy, the hit squad bumped their asses off for these guys. They bumped their asses off. Moff, look how he fed. Look how he fed. And then, oh, Moff, another high school football. I think he, did they win a stand high cell? I don't know if they won a state championship, but I did see his, he had old tapes, video cassettes, which ironically, this is on too. Um, of him playing uh, high school football in 93 when he was a senior. 92, maybe it was. 
And he's pretty good, too. Obviously not that good, because he only went to high school. Bum! I played high school football. No, I didn't. I was actually the water boy. That's a shoot. I'll tell that story another day. Wenzel now, going for the plunder. He's whipping a chair out. I mean, a table out. But there, well, actually, there's a chair there, so I'm, I, I wasn't incorrect. I was actually correct, because there's a chair there. So, uh, table and a chair. Like when I tell people I'm going to take a number two, I say I'm going to take a number one and a number two. Because whenever I number two, I usually number one. So I just say I'm taking a number three. I'm now going to the outside. Where the hell am I going? Wenzel now setting up the plunder. And this is the... Let me say this about wrestling uh, nowadays too. When WWE made ta the, the tables, ladders, and chairs match, the money in the bank... Uh, the Hell in the Cell pay-per-views. Oh, oh, the pay-per-views were the specialty pay-per-views where they happened all the time. Nice stop by Moff. Oh, this is going to be sweet. Oh, he ate it. He ate it. Wenzel ate it. He just ate that table. It was sweet. Nice bump, Wheats. Moff selling his ass off because the Moondog's been giving it to him. Monster Mac battling on the outside. Nice tag match, boys, if you ever do see this. Wenzel will, because he'll he'll uh, he'll YouTube himself. We all do. I'm sure Hulk Hogan YouTubes himself. He's probably sitting at home right now, looking at the list of names he buried, and he just YouTubes himself all day. Let's see what I did, brother. Mark. I actually met Hogan once. Good dude. He was drinking a Coors Light. Hung out. Took a picture with me. Uh, but good lord. Well, that guy did it was bury people. Anyway, I'm getting I'm going off on a tangent, which I usually do. I'm on the outside of the ring again. What? If I get a DeLorean, I'm going to go back to this date in the morning. I'm going to have a talk with myself. Molson setting Monster or is that Mafia? I can't tell. No, he doesn't have the armband. He's got Monster Mac on the table. Molson is going to the top floor, and he can he can hit a moonsault. Does he does he land it? Does he stick it? Does he nail it? Does he? Doesn't. He just lands on that table. Nice sell by me. Of course, I had to run in the way of the hard cam. I'm checking on Molson because it looked like his, from my vantage point there, and I do remember this, uh, it looked like he hit his balls on the edge of the table to me. And now Monster trying to get that table out. I don't know why I'm helping him. Although uh, Sabu did give me a piece of advice. Uh, congratulations on your retirement, Sabu. You're not really retired. You will come back. But um, if there's carnage in the ring, refs, move it like right under the rope, under the bottom rope, especially in there with a the guy who does hardcore. Thing. Move it to the bottom of the rope so it looks like you're getting it out of there, but you're actually not. You're helping the guy. Uh, ma mafia now to the top rope. Oh, <laughs> good Lord. See, that hurts both guys because your back is smacking that ladder. Moff trying to get a cover. Monster Max trying to get a cover. They both get a cover with a one, two, Three, three, he got it. Yes, he did. Three count, three count, three count. No, not the Shane Helms band. It's a three count. Wow, I didn't know that was a finish. Uh, you, you got it on me. See, the people aren't, pop they're just sitting on their hands and these guys did put on a great match, but the problem with Jersey All-Pro is they didn't get the people to care about the guys. Like the, it doesn't matter how great the wrestling is, the story's got to be great too. Because if the people care... They're going to cheer no matter how good or bad it is. And these people just, you know, they really didn't care. They were just happy to see a match. And there I go running to the other side of the ring. I probably lost 40 pounds ref in this match because I kept running back and forth. Monster Mac kicking that plunder out of the ring. And this was the fourth or fifth time these guys uh, all wrestled each other. And there's Mafia wearing the crimson mask. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that one. And there's Homicide on the screen for whatever reason. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Actually, we're just going to stick with this one. What's Homicide going to do here? Actually, we'll just keep it. What is Homicide going to do to Valentina? Oh, good Lord, this is the cop killer. And bam, see ya, honey. Boom, uh, boom, ba-bam, ba-bam, ba-bam. God, everyone hated her. Oh, uh, fuck, we were hoping she'd get hurt. I remember that. When she took it, we're like, good Lord, I hope she gets hurt. Uh, not really, but no, we. she was very unliked at the time. Oh, <laughs> look at that shot. Montram, you're amazing. My drama is sweet. Well, for Sean Miggins, I'm Ref. I hope you enjoyed that right there that I didn't know I was going to include. Thank you, everyone. Uh, keep in touch with yourselves. As always, drive safe. Signing off.